stem is quarter inch round. The collar that we're going to weld on is half inch, half round, making it quarter inch deep and half an inch wide. The measurement for the length of collar is the collar wrapped around a quarter inch round and that median line is the length that I require for my collar. So I know that that is quarter inch and I know that this is quarter inch thick so that's going to be an eighth and an eighth that total is going to be half an inch and I know that the circumference is pi times diameter in this case the circumference is pi which is three for me, I don't mess around with the small stuff times a half equals one and a half inches that's the length of the stock that I require to go around my um, stem material. It's further complicated by the fact that whenever I take a bar, if I leave the end straight and wrap it around another bar, what happens is the ends don't line up, they make a hollow. To counteract for that, what I need to do is to start with a chamfer on the ends because I know as I turn this around, what's happening is the inside of my disc is being compressed so that it's being forced out this way. The outside is being stretched or being pulled back towards each other this way. The aggregate is, when those two pieces meet, they'll do so in a straight line. What I don't want is for them to actually touch. If they touch while well, it's wrapped around the stem, what will happen is when I take this forge weld, this will weld, but I won't be able to shrink the rest of the collar on to the remainder of the stem, and I'll end up with this disc that I can just turn around. What I'm going to have to do is make an allowance so that I have a gap between the collar material and so as I forge weld that will close as I'm welding it to the rest of the stem. That further complicates our math of course because now where do we make our cut? We know it's an inch and a half long, but which bit is inch and a half? Well, it's the centre line. And I know that that's going to be roughly 45 degrees. I know that my collaring material is U-shaped, if you will, and it's a quarter of an inch deep. So that is a quarter of an inch. So that is a quarter of an inch. I know that if I draw a straight line there, that distance will be a quarter of an inch. Therefore, that will be one-eighth of an inch. So that distance there to there is my inch and a half minus the eighth here minus the eighth there is going to give me inch and a quarter total. That's where I put my chisel on the inch and a quarter marks knowing that I'll cut past this mark here. Now this of course is where math and the real thing, the real world, starts to butt heads. I think that that's quarter inch round for the stem, it's probably not. And I think that that is half inch, half round, it's probably not. And I think I'm going to cut it about right, and I probably won't. So it will get me somewhere in the ballpark. So the math really is just a place to start. It cuts out the experimentation. Bring it close, go up to the edge.